welcome to the vicarage. If we go right first through the rain front door, um, on our left we'll see the cinema room here, and the projector screen up there, back into the main hall, that's the front door where we just came in, through the other side there is the swimming pool which we'll do in a bit. We've got a downstairs toilet with a shower. There are four showers, four toilets, two baths in the whole house. Well, three, four baths if you had the pool and the jacuzzi. So two baths in that house itself. And obviously there is a shower in the pool area and then there's two showers upstairs. Through here. This leads into the kitchen which has got two ovens, an induction hob, dishwasher, large American fridge, huge island, utility room with washer and dryer, TV in here, lots of space to sit and eat, lots of storage, and then the outside area, so that we have this snug just off the kitchen here, which is nice to sit and chill with the back door open in the morning because the sun shines onto this area in the morning. So this is the area out here. Uh, this takes you round the back to the main south facing garden, which I'll show you shortly. That's the doors into the cinema room there. Here we've got another lovely snug area, very cosy, just off the main 30 foot conservatory. Here's a garden out here. Um, these patio doors open uh, in the summer or nice weather. You can open these and people can take tables and chairs out and they can sit out in the garden. Nice and private with trees there. Okay. And there's, you've got tables and chairs. You can arrange these however you feel. Have a formal sit down dinner or just use them for buffets, etc. And then we've got this lovely area here for seating with this window seat and chairs. This then leads into the main snug lounge, uh, which has got very large settees. As you can see, this is going back into the main hall. So here's the lounge area. TV, soundbar and all the streaming channels we have on in the whole house. And we've got very fast internet broadband there as well then upstairs so if we go left so we got four bedrooms in this what was the original house we have an extension there which is what we call a family suite so we got four bedrooms in here this is a king size with storage This is the double that has a small child single bed. Again, lots of uh, wardrobe space and dressing table. This is the next double in here. Wash basin in this room. Got wash basins in two of the rooms. The twin next door, which I'll show you now. So we've got a twin here, usually used for kids, but fine for adults. And again, we've got another wash basin in this area too. Then the family bathroom with a big radius tower rail at the back, uh, bath and loo. Sorry about that. Just preparing for our next guest. And then a large walk-in shower here. And if we take it back round, This is leading into the family suite. So we have a large dressing room here. Uh, this still has a few of our closing because we're um, in the middle of just moving other house. We only live two minutes away. So, but this is very popular actually for cots or um, if small children they want to put in a, a, a camp bed which we can put up um, because it's got blackout blinds here. So we can make it really nice and dark for people. And increasingly, yes, parents will put the kids in here 
there's a power socket down there to plug in a baby monitor. Uh, to the left is the family master suite bathroom. With a, again, a large shower, a large sunken bath, a uh, large sort of deep bath. And the good thing about this is the bedroom's there. People can actually use this bathroom without having to go through the bedroom. It's not an ensuite. It's sort of an, an extra bathroom, but uh, it's part of the family suite, but it's not en suite. You don't need to go into the, through the bedroom to get to it, which is useful for people wanting to share. Then this is a large main family bedroom. So a large king size bed, plenty of storage. Uh, here we've got it set up today. Uh, we've got two cots in here. Um, and then there's two single beds. So this, fam this can sleep, well, up to four, two adults, two kids and two babies. So up to six in this room. And then we've got a nice sort of view out here. This 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 door opens to get some fresh air. This uh, this is the swimming pool area just underneath there. So if we head back down, obviously the main most exciting bit is our pool. And we shall go there. And here is the pool. So this is lockable. There is a key in this door. And when you go into the pool area, the pool actually has a, a electric solid cover, which is opened with a button here, like so. Out here, adjacent to the pool, we have table tennis and a dartboard over there. The pool also has a shower and toilet and wash basin. So you don't need to leave the pool area to get showered afterwards or use a toilet. Then we have the jacuzzi here. This has a cover on it, but we can take that off. And there we are. So the jacuzzi is operated by a button here. Press that once and there we get the jets. So there's the jacuzzi, and here's the pool, which is nine meters by six, and it's all one depth. It's four foot three deep um, from end to end, so there's no deep end. So it's great for playing games, for families just playing ball games and everything else together. And that's the pool with the cover off. Okay.